Hi Karin, have you learned the clinical findings of the different types of herpes simplex keratitis? Very good. Now it is important to learn the appropriate initial therapy for each type of keratitis. A treatment guideline was created at the Sydney Eye Hospital in partnership with the University of Sydney. It was implemented using layer cards, posters in the consulting rooms, and on the hospital intranet and safe site institute website. For epithelial keratitis, the first line of treatment is topical acyclovir five times daily for one to two weeks. Valacyclovir 500 mg twice daily for seven days is the systemic treatment. For stromal keratitis without ulcer, the treatment is valacyclovir 500 mg once daily during topical steroid use, plus prenorphine 4 to 4 to 6 times daily tapered over greater than 10 weeks. For stromal keratitis with ulcer, the treatment is valacyclovir 1 gram 3 times daily for 7 to 10 days, plus prenorphine 4 to twice daily tapered slowly as disease comes under control. For endothelial keratitis, the treatment is valacyclovir 500 mg to 1 gram once to 3 times daily for 7 to 10 days, plus prenorphine 4 to 4 to 6 times daily tapered over greater than 10 weeks. For keratouveitis, the treatment is valacyclovir 1 gram 3 times daily for 7 to 10 days, plus prenorphine 4 to 4 to 6 times daily tapered over greater than 10 weeks. For stromal keratitis with ulcer, endothelial keratitis and keratoyubiitis, reduce valacyclovir to prophylactic dose after 7 to 10 days and maintain for as long as frequent topical steroids are in use. Prophylaxis with acyclovir 400 mg twice daily or valacyclovir 500 mg once daily. For multiple recurrences, history of HSV after any ocular surgery or during immunosuppressive treatment. For pregnancy, acyclovir is the preferred antiviral agent due to more clinical experience. It is classified as category B3 medication. For children, the antiviral of choice is acyclovir. While acyclovir can only be given to children over 12 years old. For epithelial keratitis in children, the treatment is topical acyclovir 5 times daily for 14 days or at least three days after healing, whichever is shorter. The indications for systemic treatment are stromal keratitis, skin involvement, coexistent systemic disease, non-compliance in ability to use or tolerate, or ocular toxicity from topical acyclovir. If the child is aged up to three months, consult with a pediatric infectious diseases physician to determine the treatment. If the child is between 3 months to 12 years, the treatment is oral acyclovir 10 mg per kilo 5 times daily for 5 to 7 days, plus prenorphine 4 twice to 4 times daily. If the child is between 12 to 18 years, the treatment is oral acyclovir 10 mg per kilo 5 times daily for 5 to 7 days, or Valacyclovir 500 mg twice daily for 3 to 5 days, plus prenorphine 4 twice to 4 times daily. Some common side effects of oral antivirals are headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, fatigue, and fever. Oral antivirals require dose adjustment in patients with impaired renal function. Refer to the attached table for more information. This treatment guideline is intended as an initial therapy for herpes simplex keratitis with the medications available in Australia. It can be altered based on the medical and ocular history of the patient. Thanks for watching and good luck!